Hi everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. Today we are going to discuss the third chapter of standard 6 playing with numbers. In that one we are going to discuss the least common multiple that is LCM we are going to discuss. So common multiple before discussing the common multiple you know that what are multiples? What are multiples when you are multiplying a number by another natural number you will get the multiple of that number that is multiple so we have to take two numbers from that you have to find the common multiple in hcf it was the highest common factor here it is least common multiple least means smaller that is known as least you know that multiples already we have discussed the properties of multiples it is infinite in number we can do the multiplication and we will get more numbers so it is in infinite in number that is why we are taking the least number the smallest number we are taking here so to find the lcm of the numbers three methods are there we are going to discuss three methods in detail the first method is that common multiple method the first method is that common multiple method In this common multiple method you have to list the multiples of this number suppose i am taking two numbers 4 and 6 you have to write the multiples of this 4 and 6 you know that we can write the multiplication table of 4 so 1 4 are 4 2 4 are 8 3 4 are 12 then 4 4 are 16 5 4 are 20 6 4 are 24 and it will go on like the same way we are going to write the multiples of 6 1 6 are 6 2 6 are 12 3 6 are 18 4 6 are 24 5 6 are 30 6 4 are 40 and 6 are 36 i am writing up to this only so now we have to write any common numbers are there in these two here you have to check any common multiples are there we will see that one you can see that 12 is common so common multiple i am writing cm so 12 is the common multiple and the next common multiple is 24 it will go on because infinite number of common multiples will be there we are going to take two only from this you come to know that which one is the smaller yes 12 is the smaller so lcm of this one will be 12 so lcm of 4 and 6 will be 12 so this is how you have to find the lcm using common multiple method next we are going to discuss the prime factorization method to find the lcm of the numbers here i have taken three numbers 108 135 and 180 here i have taken three numbers 108 135 and 180 we are going to find the lcm of this method by prime factorization method first we have to prime factorize these numbers i am going to prime factorize this number first So you know how to do the prime factorization. To do the prime factorization, you have to take only prime numbers. So by two, I am doing. So five two is a ten. Four two is a eight. Again by two. Two two is a four. Seven. Twenty-seven. You will get this by three. Nine three is a twenty-seven. Again by three. Three three is a nine. Three. one so the prime factorization of this one over now we have to do the prime factorization of 135 you know that this number is not divisible by 2 now we will see whether this is divisible by 3 for that you have to add the digits 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 5 9 so you can divide it by 3 so we are going to divide it by 3 4 3 is a 12 115 means 5 3s are 15 again by 3 it is possible 1 3s are 3 15 5 3s are 15 again by 3 5 3s are 15 again by 5 then you will get 1 m now the prime factorization of 180 we have to do so by 2 it is possible you will get 90 this is also by 2 45 you are getting again by 3 you will get 
again by 3 you will get 5 again by 5 you are getting 1. So the prime factorization of all these numbers are over. Now we have to find the LCM. So how to find the LCM? It is little different from the highest common factor that we will see how you will find the LCM using these numbers. Okay, so we have done the prime factorization of the numbers. Now we will write it here. So 108 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now 135 that is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Now 180 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So this is how you have to write first. Now you have to see any common numbers are there for all the three numbers. Common multiples you have to find. So first we will see any common numbers are there for all the three numbers. You can see this 3, 1, 2, and 3. This is common for all the 3 numbers. From that only 1, 3 you have to write. Okay. Again you have to check any common numbers are there for the 3, 1. So again you can see 3 is there common. That is 1, 2 and 3. One time you have to write that we are writing. Again, now no numbers are there common for all the three numbers. Now you have to check any numbers are common for both the numbers like 108 and 135. Otherwise for 138 or for 180 like that way. We will check that numbers. You can see 5 here. This 5 is common for these two numbers. So that also you have to take only one time that is 5. Any other numbers are there like this common? Yes, you can see this 3 and this 3. That is also common. So you will get 3 here. Again, you can see that this 2 is common. So you can take it here. Again, this 2 is common. So, that also you have to take one time. So, that is over. Now, you have to multiply these numbers. 3, 3 is a 9. 9, 3 is a 27. 27, 2 is a 54. 54 multiplied by 10, you will get 540. So, LCM of these three numbers are 540. This is how you have to calculate the LCM of the numbers using prime factorization method. Next, we are going to discuss the division method. So, here I have taken four numbers. Together we can find the LCM. That means in the previous case prime factorization method. Separately we have done the prime factorization. But here directly you can do the prime factorization. Up to that we are getting one. How we have to do that we will see here. First you know that all the numbers you can divide it by two. Six twos are twelve. Here one. Thirteen twos are twenty-six. Here 15 twos are 30 and here you will get 18 twos are 36. Again you know that this, this and this number you can divide it by 3. By 3 you can divide this. Otherwise you can take 2 also. These 2 numbers you can divide. It is not compulsory that you have to divide by the all the 4 numbers. 1 by 1 also you can do. I am taking 2 again here. So you will get 3 2's are 6. 13 will remain as it because we can't divide 13 by 2. Point you can't do here. So you are keeping 13 as itself. So 13 will remain as it. Here 15 will also remain as it. 18 divided by 2 you will get 9. Now you can divide these 3 numbers by 3. So I am taking 3 here. So 1 3's are 3. 13 5 3s are 15 and 3. 
So you know that all these numbers are prime numbers 3, 5, 13 and 1. So here 13 will come you will get 1, 1, 5, 3. Again 5 will come 1, 1, 1, 3. Again 3 will come then you will get last 1, 1, 1. So after last if you are getting prime numbers here all these numbers are prime numbers. So you can stop it here. Now you have to multiply all these numbers then you will get the LCM of the numbers. LCM will be equal to when you are multiplying 2, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3. So we took all the numbers. So when you are multiplying these numbers you will get 2340. So this is the LCM of these four numbers. This is how you have to do the division method. So we have discussed all the three methods to find the LCM of the numbers. Now we are going to discuss the last topic that is the what is the relation between HCF and LCM. There is a relation between HCF and LCM of the numbers. What is the relation? When you multiply HCF and LCM of the numbers you will get product of the numbers product of numbers this is the relation between HCF and LCM when you are multiplying HCF and LCM you are getting the product of the numbers this is one, one of the rule related to HCF and LCM so now we are going to solve a problem using this rule I have written the question here the HCF and LCM of two numbers are 9 and 90 so they have given HCF is 9 and LCM is equal to 90. They have given HCF and LCM and one number is also they have given and you have to find the other number. We are taking the other number as X. So what is the rule according to this HCF multiplied by LCM? That means 9 multiplied by 90 will be equal to product of the number. So one number is 18 that we know and the other number we don't know. That is why we are taking it as x. You know how to solve this one. So x will be equal to this 18 will come here. Here multiplication means when it is coming to the opposite side it will change into division. So 9 multiplied by 90 by 18 you are getting. So 1 nines are 9 and 2 nines are 18. Again 1 2 are 2 and here you will get 45. So the answer will be 45. This is how you have to solve the problem related to this rule. I hope all of you have understood the topic that I have discussed in this video. Thank you all and don't forget to subscribe our channel Nirja Education.